Ooh, everybody, I got the jack on, but in the wrong place. That's as far as it go up right there. That's all the way up. So, pivot point's going to have to be different. I got either that one or that one to choose from, which is about a foot from here to there. So, I think I'm going with the X. It'll uh, take me, if we pivot this thing up this way, I'll have a good foot. That should be touching the ceiling time I get to the X. So, uh, that thing right there, where it's pivoted on, is going to stay. Because it's welded good. So, uh, I'll probably put a half a two pound roll on that thing. But, uh, uh, I believe I'm going to leave where the jack is right now. It should go down further. Uh, it's a little bit tall on the jack, too, so. But, uh, I think I'm going to leave it where it's at. But, uh, we'll try to put the pivot point where that X is. So, uh. I got that far tonight. This is uh, Friday the 16th, December 16th, 2016. Okay. Well, we'll try that tomorrow. I got some more plate here. I got one more big piece of plate. I'm going to go. I can cut it down right there. So, that's my last plate. So, I'll have to do the same thing here. Cut it all out and make me a plate to put it on. I just got these bolts in here just a little while ago, so uh, I'll leave that one where it's at. And then, uh, like I said, I gotta just make another plate to put it right here where the X is. I'll leave that one there. So if I got just need a shorter stroke for something else, as maybe the engine. All I have to do, let me see here, for the engine, let me see if I can get it twisted around here. Let's get it off that. Yeah, that's, that's enough for the, getting the engine off. So, uh, here's the, sorry me to the camera around. I'm just trying to play with this homemade thing here. It's got everything else in the way too, so. Uh, I don't want to push the good, so I'll bring that engine out. Probably put it maybe where the chair's at so I can get underneath of it and uh, have it facing, going back towards the back of the building. Lift it up and then uh, pull the wagon out from under it and then bring it and set it down. Or put it on if I got the engine. I mean, just leave this for right now. At least get this thing off this pallet, okay? And then, then on the, uh, the jack. That's high enough to get it off off the wheelbarrow, okay? Uh, but I'll put me another pivot point, like I said, over here where the X is, somewhere over that area. And uh, almost done with it. Got a couple other spots, X's right there, so that's another foot back. Put a foot back, and that thing goes another foot up. It's almost touching the ceiling, so. And then, on these wheels here, I gotta go down the center of this right here. I did the ones on the front, I didn't do the ones on the back, so. Uh, I put me a, my little splicer welds up here on this side and the other side because uh, those are the sides I couldn't put a double weld on. So I put a bigger weld across these right here. Just every every foot, yeah, every foot or so. I went all the way up the thing because I couldn't weld on the inside of it because it's the way it is. So, you see the... Uh, top part see the weld on that i don't know if you can see the weld on the bottom part but uh just two sides of that has got double welded inside and out 
this side right here on, and the other side did not because that's where I put those two pieces together. Okay, uh, well, here's David with my hydraulic jack. How about it? Oh, God. I'm so glad I'm close to finish. I'm taking that engine off that thing this weekend. All right, see y'all later. Have a good night.